It's not wet. No fuel. But let's see if we got some spark. Turn on the ignition. And let's see. It would be a bit shaky, I guess. Yeah, we got some spark there. So that's nice. Yeah. So it's a fuel issue. This CR seven A S S A. I removed the air intake that screw there, and then there's uh, the EDR, and then two bolts under here, and then you can sort of truck truckle it out. Some engine recommendation on this bolt yeah. First, every three hundred kilometers when it's new, and then three thousand kilometers the oil shell should be replaced. And then you have the air cleaner element, this one. Uh, every 2,000 kilometers you clean it and replace it with every 5,000 kilometers. I could try to drain it by loosening this and then uh, fuel will go out this cable. Yeah, some crap down there. To clean this, doesn't look like brass. Clean the needle and uh, then hope for the best. I just unscrew. This is the low speed. And it, I can't see through it, so it's uh, clogged up. So that's something. I'll use uh, electric wire, one of them, to clean it. And then uh, the other one, this is the main jet. It is uh, clean, you can see through it. Well, you can. Even though it might be hard for you, but you can see through it. So that's okay. And then I'll just try to remove this needle here and plop this out. I'll film it. So this is the needle. You can see the ring there. I'm yeah, gonna clean it a bit and then I'm gonna clean that one with the to tops. I'm gonna clean it. Even though it looks pretty clean, I'm gonna clean it anyway. Using this chrome polish and put some on it. This is the second time I do this. This is the first. You see, it's pretty much crap. See? That's a crap down there. So this is the size. So it doesn't move. Let's check this side. Uh -huh. There we have it. Okay. Restricted, right? Something in the cap here. I'll unscrew it and check it out. There's a feather here, I feel it. I thought it was gonna be a screw, maybe it is a screw down there. But I'll leave it original. I think it says 82. 82 on it. On the big one, on the main jet. And then this smaller one is 30. So that's original, 82 and 30. Here I'm using a wire, from electrical wire. Yeah, like this. And also these small little holes. holes. Is it my imagination, but, or have I put this the wrong way? It's uh, pointing a lot of more at this. I, th I thought it was more like this before, but maybe I'm wrong. I have to check the video. And the air intake is back. So, I'm ready for, to try it. I was just out trying it again, but no luck. Still, still just chugging along on the starter and uh, nothing to, no tendency to, to start. Is this dry? Yeah, pretty much dry, right? So no fuel. So I'm gonna suck on this and see if we get some, 
something here. We do. So the fuel is coming there. The fuel looks very oily, I don't know. Maybe it's, looks a bit funny to me. So I don't know where I stopped last time, but uh, I picked it apart again. I tried it yesterday, yesterday night, evening, and still no fuel. So I'll have to pick it apart again. I won't show you that. I'll give. There's somehow it's not getting any fuel down to the bowl. Is my assessment. Yep, the bowl was completely dry, so no fuel is getting down there. For some reason, and this looks really looks too tense. Put it, did I put it wrong? Here we got the name PD eighteen J J. So I'm gonna try to spray. This is not the best, but this is what I had. So this is the fuel coming here, and it should come in here, I believe. So if I spray here, I hope something will come out of here. Yep. So that is working. No clogging there. Hmm? I didn't uh, figure out how to do it the correct way the last time. I just put the needle in like that and you have a sort of a, yeah, you have a tap there and that tap should Go inside here. Okay, focus. Inside here. And I didn't do that. So I just put it up here and then it didn't work. So let's try it and hope this is the way to do it. This works better and now it can fall see it must fall like this to fill it with fuel the bowl yeah this looks good let's put it back together again I don't have to show you I just it's three screws you know okay so let's give it another try Yes. Just need to get the fuel through all the way. Yeah, still some problem. So it, I've run it a bit, but just, I don't know if it's the fuel. It somehow doesn't like when you put any gas at all. So still some problem. I'm gonna adjust the valves. I searched a bit, searched a bit on the internet, but I couldn't get any clear answer why, it, why it's only idles and 
So I'm gonna check this out just to, to be comfortable about it. Exhaust valves on this side and the intake valve here. Pull this forward, not the other way around. And we should get some kind of, here we have something. So when I'm pulling it, it's under tension, right? So this is not the right place, continue. The, this, the hole there, you see here the hole, it should be under no tension. So here we get the mark again, but now the hole, and we got a hole there. So I believe this is no tension. It's a lot of play here. I think, we'll see. We'll measure with the gauger. And the way you do it is uh, you loosen this one and then you tighten or loosen with this uh, four square, the square piece here. So always, bit, uh, when you don't do it too often, you often forget. But um, let's check if a uh, 10 millimeter is going in. No, it's almost, but not quite. So, and the same on this side. Now it's now it's in, but it feels even tighter. When you think you're ready, then you turn, then you turn the motor, a couple of strokes here or RPMs just to get everything settled and normalized sort of so we can measure again and then you go back to the top dead center and measure again so I don't have to show you that but I will Verify that it's still correct. So let's put it back together and give it a try. Did not help. Okay, so I'm getting pretty tired mixing with this, dealing with this uh, carburetor. So I decided I'm gonna replace it with another one. I need to remove this piece to replace the carburetor. And now uh, this time I think the bowl is full of fuel, so I have to be a bit more careful. But it's just 12 millimeter, holding it here on both sides, and then loosen it. Now it's only the fuel here. Oh man, it's dropping a lot of fuel there. Mm. But that's progress anyway. The new fuel line. So this carburetor has some steel lines. There we have something. PT, PT, 18G. And then something I can't read. This has this type. And yeah. It's sort of different. different. See? This looks better. With the steel lines and so on.
Yeah, it's a neighbor. She has just one, just four stroke shinish one, two. I think it's a Viarelli. I wonder if it will work better with this carburetor. So let's hope for the best. So it's pretty much the same. Make me think it's the fuel or something. Or the CDI. I think I will replace the CDI next step. Okay, so I've just drained the fuel, the old fuel. Hoping that it might be it, but look at the fuel. Okay, there's some crap in the bus uh, in the basket, but there's something in it. Is it ethanol? Is it water? What is it? You can see it's moving around. It doesn't mix. Doesn't mix with the fuel, so this is not this can't be a good fuel. It does not mix. So I'll try it again. Getting rid of the old fuel. Doing better and better. Still dies, but if you get rid of the old fuel then maybe. Let it, it's a high idle. So very strange. Is it the CDI? Is this is the behavior of it. Not managing to keep up the RPM. So we have fresh fuel now but uh, yeah strange almost empty I did try a new CDI but it didn't help so now I'm gonna check the rubber here just these two bolts I don't have to show you So the gasket looks fine and uh, I just inspected it but we might have a crack here, maybe. So I'll try to suck it and see if I can get some leak or something then I if I do, I will try to replace it. So I suspect it get, doesn't get enough fuel. The bowl is, is not, uh, there's no, not much fuel in it when I open them up. So I'm gonna change back to this one, the original one. And I'm gonna use, I bought a tank here, a five liter tank. So I will not have a vacuum pump, vacuum petcock. Uh, it's not a pump, but. So if it is the petcock valve that is not the opening or whatever it is, I'm gonna try this at least. I'm, I'm uh, since both shows the same sign, some, somehow fuel doesn't arrive and I can't find anything fault with the, with the bowl and the needle there, the float and so on. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to replace, put some, uh, I'm just going to fix a bit, a bit of better uh, fuel line. There's some problem with the petcock sometimes, so it might be that problem, it might be that. Quite likely, since I've watched a lot of YouTube, people having problems with their petcock vacuums. So anyway, I've hooked this up. I've uh, transported the uh, fuel here and uh, got this on off. So let's, can I do it with one hand? It's pretty. Yep, and there we start seeing it can't go down. The fuel is on its way. So, with this transparent line, we can see it starts filling the. Yeah. 
So it's on its way now. Nothing stopping it. Let's go out and try it. It's dark outside. Maybe can't film. Still problem. Doesn't seem to suck in it. It's running better than before, but... Yeah! No? Maybe it just needs time.